These 14 women are the latest to be tried in a government crackdown on Islamists in Egypt. The women claim to be innocent, peaceful protesters demanding the return of ousted President Mohamed Morsi. The government disagreed, sentencing them to 11 years in prison for an array of charges, including incitement to violence. Egypt's prisons are swelling with similar prisoners. Massive anti-government protests triggered a military coup last July, setting in motion a series of deadly clashes between security forces and Morsi supporters. Hundreds would be killed in the roundup. The more recent government crackdown is angering citizens. Thousands of protesters swarm downtown Cairo as anger grows over a new law restricting protest. What you're seeing now is illegal. A demonstration has to be registered with police three days prior and can be canceled any time if it threatens security, lending itself to broad interpretation. There's no such thing that we have to get their permission before going out to tell them that I'm going to protest against them and against the law they want to impose, she says. The Egyptian government says the law ensures order. Convicted protesters can receive up to five years in prison and thousands of dollars in fines. Many Egyptians are fearful of a return to the police state of former President Hosni Mubarak. I think what this new protest law shows is that the hardline security agencies are the ones calling the shots because the Ministry of Interior wanted this new law to legitimize a crackdown on protests. There is fear among these protesters that the gains of the revolution are being eroded. In the meantime, protesters continue as new factions denounce the government. The country's leaders are working to pass a constitution that will eventually lead to elections. Possibly then, the streets will be quieter. Ian Lee, CNN.